The greatest achievement of a person in this life is the love of the Almighty, great and holy for him. If Allah loves a person, he will achieve whatever he desires with the permission of the Lord. He is great and holy, and a person can achieve this love only by doing good deeds and acquiring those character traits that Allah loves, and by distancing himself from all that he does not love. But if a person turns out to be among those whom Allah does not love, and against whom he is angry, then this can become the greatest calamity for a person, which can lead him to hell. Today we will list several categories of people whom Allah does not love. He is great and holy, so that we can protect ourselves from falling into one of these categories. And so, first of all, it is the one who transgresses the prohibitions established by Allah Almighty. He is great and holy. Transgressors are people who harm other people or transgress the boundaries set by the Almighty, expressed in non-observance of the rights of the Lord or other people. This also includes the voluntary deprivation of oneself by a person of what Allah Almighty has allowed him. Also overstepping the boundaries includes a person's pleas to the Almighty. He is great and holy containing inappropriate requests, for example, to ask the Lord to help in sin or to make a person a prophet and so on. Allah says several times in the Holy Quran that Allah does not like transgressors. O you who believe, do not forbid the benefits that Allah has made permissible for you and do not transgress the boundaries of what is permissible. Indeed, Allah does not love criminals. And also, cry out to your Lord with humility and in secret. Truly, he does not like criminals. Secondly, they are oppressors. Oppression, zulm, is a violation of rights and attempt on people, their property and honor. Zulm includes the murder and punishment of innocent people, theft, encroachment on the honor, blood, and property of other people. The fact that Allah does not love oppressors is also stated in the verses of the Holy Quran. The Almighty says, But if someone forgives and establishes peace, then his reward will be with Allah. Indeed, he does not love the wrongdoers. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, Be afraid of the supplication of the oppressed, for indeed it rises to the clouds. And Allah says, By my might and greatness I will certainly help you, even if it happens after a while. It is forbidden to oppress people, it is a sin. If a person has oppressed a person, then he must ask him for forgiveness and correct what he has done. For example, if a person has stolen something, then he must return what he stole to the one from whom he stole, and the person must also ask the Lord for forgiveness. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever has acted unfairly towards his brother, in terms of his honor or something else, let him get rid of this injustice today, before the dinars and dirhams lose their value, meaning that when the day of judgment comes, and then if he has good deeds, they will be taken away according to his injustice, and if he does not have good deeds, then the sins of the person he oppressed will be taken away and laid on the oppressor. The third category of people whom Allah Almighty does not like are the proud. A proud person is someone who is proud of himself and is engaged in self-praise. He walks arrogantly, brags about his ancestors, origin and position in society, looks at people arrogantly and pretends to be who he really is not. The fact that Allah does not love the proud is also stated several times in the Holy Qur'an, such as, Do not turn your face away from people out of arrogance, and do not walk the earth proudly. Indeed, Allah does not like any arrogant and boastful people. Walk with measured steps and lower your voice, for the most unpleasant voice is the roar of a donkey. And it is also said, of Allah does not like any arrogant braggart, who is stingy and tells people to be stingy. And if anyone turns away, then Allah is rich and praiseworthy. That is, these people admire themselves, and they are arrogant towards others. Indeed, we all rejoice and grieve, but our joy must be accompanied by gratitude and sorrow by patience. And indeed, we should thank people as well as the Lord for the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever does not thank people does not thank Allah. Fourthly, they are traitors. Traitors are those who do not fulfill promises, violate contracts and obligations, that is, Allah does not love those who possess such qualities as betrayal, that is, violation of treaties and covenants, failure to fulfill promises, and ingratitude to both the Lord and people. The Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Indeed, Allah does not like traitors. 
the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, called breaking promises and betrayal one of the qualities of a hypocrite, as stated in a reliable hadith. A hypocrite is distinguished by three signs. When he tells he lies, when he promises, he breaks his promise, and when he is trusted, he betrays. In this case, by betrays, it means that the hypocrite does not return the property entrusted to him. Fifth, these are people who are engaged in waste. A person may be profligate towards himself by committing sins, although the more well-known meaning implies an excessive waste of money or resources. Allah Great and Holy says in the Quran, Eat and drink, but do not overdo it, for he does not love those who overdo it. Allah also says in the Quran, He doesn't like those who overdo it. Waste, Israf, manifests itself in the commission of sins, in giving companions to the Lord, in excess of what is permissible and even obligatory. Everything that transgresses the boundaries set by the Almighty is Israf. Sixth, Allah, great and holy, does not like those who insult people, revile them and slander them for them. The Almighty, great and holy, says in the Holy Quran, Allah does not like to be slandered out loud. The Almighty said that he did not like it when people slandered loudly. He hates such behavior and he can punish a person for it. Slander refers to all the bad words that can upset and sadden a person. It can be swearing, slander, insults, and similar prohibited statements that are hateful to Allah. While if a person uses obscene language when slandering, it is even worse. Seventh, Allah, great and holy, does not like those who insult people, swear, swear, etc. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, The heaviest thing in the scales for a believer on the Day of Judgment will be a good disposition. Indeed, Allah hates the obscene, profligate, and foul-mouthed man. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, also said, Indeed, obscenity and profanity have nothing to do with Islam, and indeed, the best profession of Islam belongs to the one who has the best disposition. Profanity is a sign of hypocrisy. Allah hates it and it leads to hell. It is important to note that if the scolding person uses profanity and swearing, which are also strictly prohibited in Islam, then the sin of such a person is even worse. After all, swearing in itself is prohibited in Islam, even if the foul-mouthed person does not offend anyone. But then, what about the one who swears insulting people? The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, It is not typical for a believer to defame, curse, commit obscenity, or swear. It is reported that Abdullah ibn Amr, may Allah be pleased with both of them, said, The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, did not say anything obscene, and did not revile people, meaning both words and actions, and he often repeated, Truly, those who possess belong to the best of you with the best moral qualities. Ibrahim al-Nahai said, If one says to another, O donkey, O pig, then on the day of judgment, he will be told, Did you see him created by a pig? Imam al-Nawawi, may Allah have mercy on him, said, What is reprehensible is that it is often used by the people, for example, insults such as, Hey goat, hey donkey, hey dog, etc. Such expressions are disgusting from two sides. Firstly, it is a lie. Secondly, it is an insult. It is important to note that if a person simply insults people, then this is a sin. And if he also uses obscene language, then this is even worse, and the sin of such a person may be even greater. You also can't slander people. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, There is nothing heavier on the scales on Judgment Day than a good disposition, and indeed Allah Almighty hates the utterer of abominations. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, also said, Shyness is from faith, and faith is in paradise. As for swearing, it's from callousness, and callousness is in hell. Indeed, insulting and harming people in Islam is unacceptable either in response, or even more so first, because the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, it is unacceptable neither to cause harm without reason, nor to cause harm in response. Remember, dear viewers, the Lord will do to you the same way you do to other people, because in a reliable hadith, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, to those who try to harm others, Allah too will harm, and to those who will create difficulties for others, Allah too will create difficulties. Eighth, they are unbelievers, Allah does not love the disbelievers. Allah Almighty, great and holy, says in the Holy Quran, but those who believe and do righteous deeds, he will reward them in full. Indeed, Allah does not love the wrongdoers. 
The Almighty, great and holy, also speaks in the Quran. Say, Obey Allah and the Messenger, but if they turn away, then Allah does not love the disbelievers. We have listed eight categories of people whom Allah Almighty does not love. There are several more such categories, but today we will limit ourselves to these. We ask the Lord, great and holy, that he protect us and all of you from what he does not love and bring us closer to what he loves. Amin. Dear viewers, be sure to like this video and share this video with other people so that they too find the true path and or share useful information in the comments to this video because the Messenger of Allah peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, those who point out a good thing are entitled to the same reward as those who do it. We ask the Lord great and holy for help and protection.